we're back in Philadelphia. We're staying with Jess's friends Val's parents, Michael and Colleen. And uh, this is their house. It is a million times better than uh, every motel that we've stayed in. Uh, we've even been given use of a lounge so we can sit here and quietly catch up with the videos because video editing is extremely difficult and laborious. So because the weather's nice in America in a way that it was often not uh, in England, uh, we can have barbecues. And this barbecue looks quite sophisticated. We're having a steak, I think. That looks really good. Not only are Jess's friends' parents very good hosts, they're both fans of Star Trek, and Michael's just um, shown me a Star Trek USS Enterprise Blueprints manual. I'm going to now look at that instead of doing any more blogging. This is a top-down view of the Starship Enterprise, and I, I don't know why, but for some reason they've put the captain's quarters right at the front of the ship. You'd think that would be the most vulnerable position. The other thing I noticed is that Will Rikers and Deanna Troy's quarters are right next to each other, and I think that's deliberate. And on the underside of the ship, we see that 10 forward is also at the front. Basically, the captain's quarters were above the bar. OK, I realise that not everyone is into Star Trek, but what I'm trying to say is that we're in a place now that we don't have to worry about whether there's an ice machine or whether the bed has mites in it or any of that kind of stuff. So we're doing things that we like. So for instance, Jess is doing um, some Duolingo or something nice because she's smiling. And I'm doing something nice, which is looking through schematics of a fictional ship. So everyone's doing what they want and, and um, traveling is very tiring. So this is quite a nice break. At the very bottom of the Starship Enterprise, there's something called the Captain's Yacht. I don't know what this is. I don't ever remember it being referenced in the series. The Starship Enterprise supposedly had 42 decks, which sounded like quite a lot, but the reason for this is because the deck system extends down into the bottom of the ship like this. I'm now looking at the schematics of the original Starship Enterprise. This was published in 1973. I can't believe that all this stuff exists. The original Enterprise had a bowling alley. Michael also has a book from 1968 when the series was still being made, and it's The Making of Star Trek. I would open it, but it looks very delicate, and it's, it's quite amazing that all of this stuff has survived. And it also has pictures of the original cast. Here's the cover. What on earth is that? I don't know what it is. It looks like a big rat. Yeah, there's something in the garden. I don't know what that is. I've not seen one before. Oh. We also have, again, access to a proper kitchen, which is good. We don't have to take those sort of microwave things. 